everybody what's up it's Kiki and I am coming to you guys today to look at this wig that I am wearing this is a wig from RPG show inspired by um, Instagrammer Ashataria I think that's how you pronounce her name I love her hair I'm sure everybody who have seen her picture love her hair and tried to recreate it or wanted it because it is just gorgeous I love it I wanted to do it with a custom unit but once I seen RPG show was like they had it I was like yes let me get it so let me go ahead and give you guys the specs before I talk anymore about you know the wig it's in this RPG show standard black box inside of a hairnet plastic bag and I always keep these plastic bags whether I put like my custom units that I make in them or if I want to restore the wig and not on a wig head I always put them in a the bag so what I got is a it says a Kim Kardashian wig, but I really think it's, it's more inspired by Ashitaria than Kim Kardashian. But they have it listed as a Kim Kardashian wig. It is NS005-S, which means it's a glueless lace wig. The hair color is like the picture. The hair length is 20 inches and the hair texture is silky. My lace color is medium brown. Cap construction is 3, which I believe is the glueless. And my cap size is 1, as always. You guys know we normally say that, or... I don't want to say we, but you know, most of the time I say the silky units actually feel more yakky or more textured. Not this time. Silky feels silky. Like it is very silky. Almost like synthetic silky. But yeah, it almost has like that really straight silky feel to it. That's how this wig is. But once you curl it, as you can see, it I mean it looks textured. It's holding the curl. I haven't had it curl long, but as you can see it it did take the curl. So it's not that silky that it won't take a curl. But we'll see how it works on holding a curl. So that's my first real problem with the hair is that it is like really, really silky. I know that it is a silky wig, but with the RPG show, I'm used to getting their silky wig with texture. And this one doesn't have that texture. It actually feels like silky hair. So I was a little taken back by that. I did shampoo the hair when I got it because it had like a sticky feel to it. And I'm assuming it's from being processed. You know, it was colored twice or maybe more. But... Yeah, I'm really liking the coloring. I love how they did the coloring. Uh, it's like a number four-ish at the bottom. And then it has like six and eight, I guess, in it. I don't know, girl, don't make me lie. So I do like how the color is blended. It's blended very, very well, as you can see. They did a great job with the coloring. So the hair took curling very, very well. I thought it wouldn't because of the silkiness. I thought the curls were going to go in and fall right down, but they didn't. They're actually holding. I did use the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, and I used my Oldie But Goodie Remington Curling One, the original one, to do these curls on my hair. Um, I know you guys saw that I curled going forward and I know in my last video when I did a curling on my natural hair Somebody said Kiki you have to remember that you're always supposed to curl backwards Um, no you curl the way you want to curl and I wanted my curls to come to the front So that's why I curled it going to the front. I know on YouTube. We always say back curl or do curl No, that's not the only way to curl. That's just a way to curl So yeah, you don't have to curl going backwards if you want your curls to come forward and towards your face and give you more volume towards your face then you would want to curl it going forward. If you're looking for that Farrah Fawcett, you know, Kim Kardashian wing going back, then you would curl backwards. So because it is 20 inches and it didn't really have any layers in it, I cut just a little bit to give it a little bit of volume as well as give it a little bit of layering so that you can see where the lighter color ends and, you know, it's not mixed in with the darker color at the bottom. It's not tangling or snagging or shedding or anything like that. So that's always a plus. I did use a little bit of concealer in my parting because I didn't feel like bleaching my knots. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel like doing it. And I showed you guys in my last RPG show video how I um, add concealer. So I am really loving this wig. And I don't have any complaints about it other than the fact that it was like really, really silky. But like I said, it is a silky texture and I can't expect all silkies to be textured and feel like the yakky texture but this one is gorgeous love the style love the coloring and this is exactly what I wanted I might do a little layering or a little cutting it up so that it's you know a little shorter but other than that love the wig I will have all the information to the wig all the specs and the links to RPG show listed below I'll talk to you guys later I love you and it's been a minute <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.